Om Tat Sat. Welcome to Gyan Bhakti. We focus on spirituality, a journey to self-realization. Please subscribe for the mystical meanings of the scriptures and daily satsang. We are currently studying the book, The Art of Positive Thinking, uh, authored by Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj, narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So today we will take the word by word meaning of this peace chant that we had studied uh, yesterday in the Tetriya Upanishad by Sage Trishanku. Aham Rikshasya Reriva, I am the mover of the world tree. You are not the feeble personality subject to birth and death. Inquire into the essential nature by studying the scriptures and reflect upon their teachings. The world is illusory and cannot shake you. Rather, you have the power to shake the world and to uproot it from your consciousness. Kirti Prishtam Gire Riva My glory is above the mountain top. There is no need to seek any glory in this world. For the glory of the soul is beyond the mighty Himalayas and far surpasses one's imagination. The innermost soul in you is Brahman, the Absolute. Urdhva Pavitro Vajaniva Meaning, my wisdom is like the effulgent sun that shines above in the heavens. By realizing the self, you rise beyond the relative concept of heavenly realms. The joyous state that many refer to as heaven is attained as a result of virtuous karmas and is little compared to the attainment of supreme bliss. Swamrita Masmi, I am the very embodiment of nectar. This implies that the innermost self in you is deathless. The nectar of self-realization frees you from the cycles of birth and death and bestows immortality. Similarly, the knowledge of the self removes the body idea and thereby the fear of death. Dravinam suvarchasam, my wealth is the shining treasure. It is the treasure of self-realization. When you realize the self, you possess all that is. Such treasure is not ordinary treasure. It is not the perishable treasure that comes and goes. When you attain the treasure of the self, you possess all that is forever thereafter. Sumedha Amrito Akshitaha. My intellect has been purified by the waters of immortality. This means that your intellect has been bathed in the waters of Samadhi. It is not ordinary any longer because it has become intuitive and can distinguish what is real from what is illusory. Iti Trishankor Vedanu Vachanam. When a sage Trishanku entered into profound meditation, this was his revelation. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. The chanting of peace three times is meant to negate the three types of misery that afflict mankind. Subjective, caused by the body and mind. Objective, caused by people and objects from outside. And divine, caused by forces that are not within the control of human beings, such as storms, hurricanes, earthquakes, etc. So, reflect deeply upon this peace chant and pulsate with the will that uproots the tree of the world process and leads to, to the glory and bliss of liberation. Om Tatsat.